Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can showcase your business reviews on your Facebook page automatically. So guys, many businesses have a page on Google where they can get the reviews and ratings from the customers on this Google business page. And guys, this automation is going to help you in showcasing those reviews on Facebook page. So with the help of this automation, you do not have to manually see when you are get, getting a good review or a five star rating. This automation is going to check whenever you are get you are getting a five star rating or review, the same review will be converted as a good video and will be posted on your Facebook page automatically. So you do not have to do it manually and it will boost your social media presence and it will improve your business as well and we are going to set up this automation so easily without any coding so let's begin so guys we are setting up this automation using pavli connect which is an automation tool and this is the landing page of pavli connect and i have pasted the same link in the description as well so from here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations so from the given link, you can just sign up right now and follow me through this video and you can create your first automation workflow with me right now. Okay, so after signing up, you just have to sign in and you have to reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect, which is going to look like this. And here you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the workflow. And here you can give a name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here. So guys, I have given this name and after giving the name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page guys you will find these two modules the trigger and the action so our automations are based on these two things so trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the response towards the trigger so guys in this use case getting a five star rating or a good review will act as a trigger for this automation and creating a video and sharing a video of that review on Facebook is going to be act as the actions okay so here guys in the trigger section first of all you have to choose the trigger application so in our case Google my business is our trigger application so you'll find it here Google my business okay here it is selected okay and now you have to select the trigger event. So the trigger event would be new review. Okay, new review. All right, and here you can see it is showing us every eight hours. So this trigger is going to check for a new review in every eight hours and it will start working. Okay, so click on connect here. And from here, select add new connection and then click on sign in with Google. And from this page, you have to select your business account by which you have created the business page. Okay, so I'm selecting that. Now you have to provide some additional access to your Google account. So just click on continue from here. That is completely safe. And you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected with Google My Business page. And here it is showing the account's name and the location. So guys, uh, this is my Google My Business account, you can see. Okay, this is actually the business account of my friend. I have borrowed it to show you this demo of this video because I did not own any business. So I have borrowed this account from my friend. So I have selected the account name and the location. And when you click on save and send test request button, the any random uh, review from your business page is going to be captured here in this response section. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request button and this is the rating I have and review I get from the business page. So it is showing the star rating as five. So we got a five star rating and this is the name of the person who have given us this rating. Okay. And this is, uh, actually it has provided a review as well. And the review is this very good services must visit once. This is the review. This is the rating and I have replied it. My friend has replied it to the review as well. Thank you for your kind words. This is a reply. So I can show you that on my business page as well. You can see this was the review, five star rating from Gary Monroe. And this is the reply, okay. So we got the data captured. Now guys, I want that whenever I get a five star rating or let's say ratings more than four stars, okay. 
or let's say five star only i want to share only five star ratings on my facebook page okay i do not want to share bad ratings okay i just want to share good ratings for that guys to ensure that we are going to apply a feature here which is called filter so when you click on action uh, action module you will find this filter option here so with the help of filter you can filter out five star ratings okay so here you can see uh, when you select filter it will start uh, it will ask for selecting a label so when you click here it will show you the previous step here in the drop down only and from when you click on it you will see all the data here only that you have received in the first step so i'm going to use this label star rating label that i have received here you can see the star rating label in which you will find the ratings okay so i'm going to select this label here okay then i'm going to select the filter type as equals to and in the value i'm going to put the value as f i v e in capitals only five because we have received uh, the value here of ratings in capitals so i have typed here in capitals so this means when the star rating label is equals to five then only i want to share the ratings otherwise i do not want to share so this is how you can filter out the star ratings five star ratings okay so just click on save and send test request and here you can see it is showing the condition is true so when this condition match true the workflow will continue and what it will do it will first create a beautiful real kind of video using another application i'm using here create a mat application for that if you have any other application you can search for it here let me show you just click here on this plus icon first and another action step will open up so here you have to search this create a mat application okay and now the action event would be uh, is equal to get uh, sorry not get create single render select create single render option then click on connect button and from here select add new connection and here it will ask for the api key of your creatomat application so you'll get this key so actually we are creating a connection with creatomat to uh, to get something done automatically inside creatomat okay so to find this api key you just have to go to the project settings let me show you that this is my uh, create a mat application let me go back on the dashboard this is the dashboard and here you can see the three dots click on the three dots and then click on project settings under project settings you will find this api key here you just have to click to reveal it and then you have to copy it and you have to paste it here in this field like this then click on save and you will be connected with create a okay like this and here it is asking for the template video templates name so to create a video automatically uh, we are going to use a, a video structure which is called a video template okay so i have created a video template here let me show you in create a mat uh, this is a video template i'm using named as search field w slash rating okay and here let me show you the video this is the video template we are using and here guys in this video i want to place the ratings like these okay in place of this word and the star ratings i want to place the star ratings and i am i just want to change this word here inside this template and here i want to place the name of the person who has given us the five star rating okay i just want to change this and i want to place this video on my facebook page as it is with the changed name okay for that I'm going to select the name of the template first. Here is the template's name, search field. Okay. And then you have this output format, frame rate, and many options here. So you can use these things if you want to change all the things inside the template. But I just want to change that text field uh, inside the template. For that, I'm going to use the modifications field here. Okay. So what is modifications? With the help of modifications, you can change a few elements inside uh, the video template so you can learn about the modifications by clicking on that word and here you can see uh, here you can read to apply changes to a template before it's rendered a modification object can be passed along okay and you have to pass it in the key value pair format okay let me show you now here guys you can see in the example every element that you have inside the video template have a key id already present here so when you select this text uh, 
text uh, element here it has a key id associated so you have to pass the value of that key id inside this workflow so that it can be changed so first of all you just have to copy this format here the key value pair format just paste it here okay and in place of this key one you have to place the key id that you want to change and in place of this value one you have to place the value that you want to pass along okay so to find the key id you just go back to the creator mat application and here you in the top right corner you will find this use template button click on it and from this window click on api integration option and here guys you can see this these key value pairs under the modifications uh, modification type section here you can see uh, these are the text we have best clothing store in bhopal and here is the key id and here you can see the text parampara and this is the key value attached here and i want to change this word only okay so i'm just going to copy this key id first like this and i have to paste it here in place of this key one value okay and here to pass on the value first of all remove this word and from the previous steps i am going to map the values uh, of the ratings I get, I get okay so i got the ratings and reviews from the google my business tab so i'm just going to click on it and i'm going to map this display name label here okay so the display name label is the label which shows you the name of the customer who has given you the review okay so i have mapped it here so guys when you map a label here what will happen whenever you get a new review from any new user or customer the labels are going to change here a new video will be created with the changed name okay that's why it is necessary to map the label here now click on save and send test request button and you will get a new rendered video so guys here you can see we got this response and here we have this url generated of a new video rendered and uh, let me show you the video as well okay so this is a new video rendered just in front of you and let me show you the change thing here here you can see guys the new name got placed here automatically okay that we have uh, mapped okay right so this is a video with the changed value as we have passed the value here now guys you can share this video on facebook for that just click here on this plus icon and from this another action step search for facebook pages select the uh, pages icon and then select the action event as create page video select create page video then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with facebook pages so it might bring you to the login window if you are not logged in but i have already logged in so it is just asking me to continue and i have clicked on continue and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected okay and here it is asking for the page's name so the name of my page is pably tech okay so i'm going to select this name from this given list okay here it is selected okay and here it is asking for the you can see the page access token will be automatically uh, generated here and here it is asking for the video url so i'm going to map this video url generated from the previous step okay so just click here and from this last create or match step map this url label like this okay if you want to provide any description you can provide the description as well i'm uh, writing the description manually as new five star rating okay so the thing that you provide manually in the fields are not going to change so this description is going to be uh, is going to be as it is it is not going to change but the things that you are mapping here are going to be updated with every execution of the workflow now let's check our connection with pably tech page guys so this this is the videos i have already posted let me just click on save and send test request button and a new video will be posted on my page okay so here you can see guys a new id is generated okay let's check on facebook page if we got a new video posted and let me refresh this section the video page, section of the page and here you can see a new video is posted a few seconds ago here and this is the same video that got created automatically with the changed data 
like we have mapped okay you can see so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and it is working fine now guys you don't have to do anything manually after setting up this workflow once and in real time whenever you are going to get a five star rating this workflow is going to trigger automatically and share the ratings in form the in form of the videos on your facebook page automatically and this workflow is going to run in the background so guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free pably connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel